Ngayon naman, we're going to learn how to write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. Now, ang slope-intercept form is given by this formula. y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. Now, sa isang line or sa isang uh, graphical representation ng isang line, lagi nyo makikita yung... Uh, y-intercept. At yung slope naman na tinatawag, yan yung steepness ng inyong line. So, pwedeng ganito ka-steep yung line nyo, or pwedeng pag ganito ka-steep yung magiging line nyo. Pwede siyang positive, at pwede din siyang negative. So, ang i-determine natin is kung paano yung steepness ng line using the slope. So, ito yung representation or graphical representation ng line. Ang y-intercept by its definition, yung y-intercept is yung point of intersection yung given line at nung inyong y-axis. Kaya siya tinawag na y-intercept. At ang slope naman will be the steepness of your line. So, matututunan din natin makompute later on yung slope ng ating given line. So, for today, kailangan lang tayong maging familiar sa formula na to, which is your slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. At ito yung isa sa mga ways or isa sa mga paraan kung paano isulat yung... Uh, equation ng isang linear equation. So, example ng mga linear equation in the slope-intercept form will be y equal to 3x plus 5. Pwede din siyang masulat na y equals 1 half x minus 5 at y equals x all over 5 plus 6. So, ito lang yung mga examples kung paano i-represent ng isang line using the slope-intercept form. Now, on the first examples, kailangan nating isulat yung equation ng isang line na given the slope and the y-intercept using y equals mx plus b. So, yun yung formula na susundan natin sa pagsulat ng equation ng isang line. So, yung first example, we have a line which has a slope of 7 and y-intercept is negative 3. Now, ito yung description ng linya ninyo. At kung paano nyo isulat mathematically yung equation ng line na to, gagamitin natin yung slope-intercept form para makabuo tayo ng equation ng line. So, since slope is equal to 7 and y-intercept is negative 3, y is equal to negative 7x plus negative 3. So, 7 yung ating slope. At yung negative 3 naman yung inyong y-intercept. So, yan yung pagsulat ng inyong equation ng line using the slope-intercept form. At to simplify your equation or your slope-intercept form, pwede nyo siyang isulat as y equals 7x minus 3. At ito yung equation ng line using the slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So, lahat ng ating equation ng line na gagamitin natin will have this particular form. So, yung second example naman natin, we have y-intercept is equal to 0 and the slope is 2 over 3. So, to write your equation using the slope-intercept form, papalitan nyo lang si n at papalitan nyo lang si b. So, yung inyong magiging equation will be y equals 2 thirds x plus 0. At para ma-simplify nyo pa to further, pwede nyo siyang isulat as y equals 2x over 3, where in yung 0, hindi na natin isusulat. So, ito yung equation ng line natin, given the y-intercept of 0 and the slope of 2 thirds. Now, for the third example, binibigyan tayo ng mathematical symbol, which is m equal to 7 and b equal to 25. Alam natin na sa slope-intercept form, Ang m will be the slope and b is your y-intercept. So by changing m and b, we'll have y equals 7x plus 25. So ito yung equation natin ngayon by direct substitution. At since hindi mo na siya pwede simplify, ito na yung magiging equation ng line ninyo given m is equal to 7 and b is equal to 25. Now sa last example natin, meron tayong slope of 1 and b equal to 32. So to write the equation of your line using this formula, y is equal to 1x plus 32. Now, yung 1x, since 1 is your coefficient, pwede nyo na siyang hindi isulat. So kung isimplify nyo pa itong equation na to, pwede nyo siyang isulat as y equals x plus 32. At yan yung pagsulat ng equation ng line given the slope and the y-intercept.
Now, minsan naman, ang binibigay sa atin is the standard equation of a line. At kailangan natin siyang i-convert sa slope-intercept form. Ang slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. At yung sa first example natin, we have 2y plus 3x equal to 10. Obviously, hindi siya slope-intercept form kasi kailangan y is by itself equal to coefficient and x plus your constant. And to do that, kailangan natin gumamit ng mga algebraic steps. So, kailangan lang natin, ang goal natin is to have y by itself. So, ibig sabihin, tatanggalin natin si 3x dito sa same side ng equation with y, and then, kailangan din natin tanggalin si 2 para magkaroon ka ng y by itself equal to mx plus b. So, to do this, ang first step natin is to get rid of 3x. So, to do that, you have to, sub to subtract 3x on both sides, and you'll have 2y equals negative 3x plus 10. Since yung y natin is still not by itself, kailangan natin tanggalin si 2, yung coefficient ng y, sa side ng y. So, divide all the terms by 2, and you'll end up with y equals negative 3x all over 2, plus 10 over 2. Now, since pwede nyo pang isimplify yung fraction ninyo, pwede nyo isulat yung final answer nyo as y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 5. At mapapansin nyo, nasa slope-intercept form na yung ating standard equation ng line. So, yung 2y plus 3x equal to 10 is parehas lang ng y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 5, pero iba na yung kanyang form. Ito na yung ating Slope-intercept form na kung saan ang slope is negative 3 over 2 at ang y-intercept is 5. Now, sa example number 2 naman natin, we have 2x minus 3y equal to 9. So, hindi rin siya slope-intercept form. So, to solve for or to write this in the slope-intercept form, gagawin din natin yung ginawa natin sa kabilang side. So, ang una natin gagawin is to get rid of... 2x, kasi kailangan y is by itself. So, subtract 2x on both sides, and you'll end up with negative 3y equal to negative 2x plus 9. And since y is still not by itself, we need to get rid of negative 3 by dividing all the terms by negative 3, and you'll have y equal to positive 2 over 3x minus 3. At ito na ngayon yung ating slope-intercept form na kung saan ang slope is 2 thirds at ang y-intercept natin is negative 3 given the standard equation of your line.